That is the Apocalypse, Ricky Mischolis. Against the Fest Express, Vessel Monster. Pavam Rankawan in Rankawan. Vessel Monster, big smile on his face. My goodness, big swing in the miss by Mischolis. Look at the smile on his face. That has to be a little bit scary. Vessel Monster comes in there trying to knock your head off and smiles the whole time. Trying to throw big shots. Oh, Vessel oh, Monster oh. got hit with a couple of hard punches in that exchange. Yeah. Again, this Vessel Monster. Monster swinging and missing. Well, Michelle, this is the one connecting you when Monster is swinging wildly. Certainly not oh, what we nice would have setup. expected. Uh oh, look at those uppercuts. The short uppercuts. Trying to swim in for the standing guillotine is, is Monster. And again, Michelle smashing through the uppercut. Michelle again with those short uppercuts on the inside. It's landing uh -oh. big ones. You can see the head snap back of Vessel Monster, but he's setting this into a scrappy Here comes now. the Fest Express. And this is what he's known for. Swinging wildly, Mischolas is covering up, firing off big shots of his own. Oh, watch out. Goodness me, good uppercut by Mossad. Now Mossad's oh. looking for the takedown. Mischolas looking for the takedown. He fancies his ground game now, but it was not enough to take Mostert off his feet. And now he might pay for that because Mostert very heavy on top. And not only very heavy on top, he has one of the best heavyweight ground games. Just short of our champion. Absolutely, just short of Andrew Fonsell. So maybe a little bit premature for Ricky Michelle to shoot for that. This is brutal. My goodness. It doesn't have to be pretty, just effective. And he is hurting Michelle's hammer fist, sledgehammer fist here from the Fest Express. How long can Ricky Michelle defend himself? Pavan Ramkalawan is watching very, very closely. He's moving, but he's hitting again and again and again. To the side of the face. How bad does Mischolas want it, Dirk? He has to keep moving. He has to defend himself. He cannot take the impact of those fists for too long. From Kalawan watching very closely, this is a mauling. You have to think it's a matter of time unless he can approve his position now in the side control. Little elbow there towards the end of the round, and that's going to be it. Interesting to see how much Mischolas has left. Yeah, certainly in terms of the punching exchanges, Michelle has got the better of those, especially from these sort of close quarters, clinch positions. That one rocked Mostert. You could see the head snapping back, and I suppose the punches that you don't know are coming are the ones that hurt you the most. Very effective in the clinches was Ricky Michelle and Vessel Mostert. As soon as he turned this into a, a, a scrappy affair, which he, it became his fight, and it sort of forced Michelle to shoot for that takedown. Yeah, he did enough to survive, but certainly Vessel Mostert was landing massive hard shots again and, again and again. Looks like he's in great shape right now. Round number two underway and brought to you by Seven Stars. Who has the better conditioning? I think that's what's going to make the difference here. Yeah, I can see a stern warning, but a point, <laughs> a point for that is not something you see in all of global MMA. Pavel Mercalo and making that decision, and of course that can change a fight in a very big way when you dock a point like that, make a difference between a draw or a completely different decision. So, yeah, if absolutely. they should go the distance, which a lot of people wouldn't say they would, but... Basil Mosser just swinging wildly, head hunting, and a little of appreciation between the two. Big shot oh, by that Mostert, was to that the side hurting. of the head, but answering is Ricky Mischolas. This is the heavyweight fight that you wanted and you needed. Over the top, which we really haven't seen tonight. It's been a lot more controlled. And oh, now Vessel Mostert is. is hurting with a big right hand. Now Mostert is looking to finish here. Mishola shoots. Mostert drags him to the deck. Can this he is finish? where this fight ends. I think this is where it ends. But can Mishola battle through? And now he is holding on. Mostert continuing to throw. Mishola is just absorbing damage right now. Oh, underneath, he's taking some shots. Yeah, those ones are certainly working, finding the mark, and Mishola isn't enjoying them at all. Big, long arms at Vessel Monster, and we're talking half the round left, two and a half minutes, Dirk. Yeah, so much time. Mishola is trying to get into a better position here, while Vessel Monster is just landing shots from the bottom. Ricky Mishola just will not give up. And now Mustard has half guard in the top position. This is a great spot for him. He has finished fights before. Could he look for an arm triangle, head and arm choke at this point? There's a few different options, or does he just try to posture up and hammer fist Mischolas into the mat? Mustard would get the early victory. 
least somebody would get the knockout victory. Somebody would get the finish. And there is still time for that to happen if Vessel can posture up. And it looks like he's going to go for a head and arm. Easier said than done as Mishola still controls that oh, wrist. Referee stands him up as he gets mount. Wow. Are you kidding me? He's having an off night as Pavan Ramkalo won. That was. As he gets full mount. If you're his coach, you say stay away. You got this fight won. Mishola's trying for the takedown. Seven seconds remain. Mishola's better throw for the fence, and he will not. He lays back. And that is going to be the end. And one would say that Vessel Mostert has this one in the bag. No guarantees. We have been down that road before, and it never goes well if we make a guarantee. So we'll lay out on that one. But, uh, but a good fight. Great fight here from Misholas and Mostert. And even if Misholas takes the loss here, it is the best that we've ever seen him look. Oh, absolutely. He looked, he looked great tonight. He is takedowns, the, the punching power, everything was just working for him. Restonic bringing you the action replay. Walk us through it, Dirk. Some of the big punches that Mishola's threw during the course of the fight. Vessel Moss had been meeting him. Was, this was in the third round with a massive right hand that seemed to rock his world. And just the crazy wailing punches, one after the other, by Vessel Moss. And this was where we saw the majority of this third and final round. It signals to the referee that he's fine, but Vessel Moss are just wailing on the body, mixed it up with some more hammer fists to the side of the head again and again and again. And, and he probably could have tried to get over, try and get the rear naked choke, but he was in a controlling position. He was not in any trouble or any danger from there. And he had to force Misholas to try and bring the fight to him from there. So, you know, a very, very clever tactic, a very smart fight fought by the Ves Express Vessel Mosser that yeah, most showing likely... Yeah, veteran discipline. Absolutely. 100%. And most, most likely gets back to winning ways and gets his name mentioned again when you talk about title. Yep, you've got that absolutely right. The Ves Express most likely looking at a win here. Ricky Misholas with a game performance. And now we are just way down the official decision. I mean, it was a very, very competitive matchup more than I think a lot of people thought it would be. The Shane, the Duke Wellington, he has the decision. It's coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 30, 26, 29, 27, and 30, 26, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Vessel. Best Express Monster!